Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy, Braden and Sean. And we've got our two cars out here today. And Sean, what do these cars have in common? Three pedals. Three pedals. They're both, well, one's a six speed, one's a five speed, but no big deal. Manual transmission cars. And today we're going to teach you how to drive manual. Right, bud? Yep, you know it. Not that hard. Just like tying your shoes. Yeah, it's like, it's like falling off a bike. You never forget how to do it. All right, guys, which one of these two cars do you think is harder to drive stick shift in? Don't, don't, don't tell them yet. If you guessed the Celica, you'd be right. The Micra is a much easier car to drive stick in, right? Yeah, it, it'd be perfect for a learner. But with that said, the, the best car to learn stick in is whatever car is available to you. That's very true. You can learn in any car you want. I learned in a Honda Civic and you learned in a Honda Civic. Not the same one at all. K kind of, Sorry, but yeah. not. The first and one of the most important things to know when it comes to driving stick is your pedal position. Oh, key's gonna beep. I gotta pull the key out here. Ah. All right, so we've got three pedals down here. We've got your gas here, your brake here, and this is your clutch. So think of play, stop, pause. This one obviously controls your throttle. This one, it obviously your brakes, and this one disengages your transmission so that you can change gears. Clutch isn't in, so I can't move it. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to know when it comes to driving stick shift is your gearing positions. So in the Mighty Micra, so in the middle you have neutral. You know you're in neutral because you can go all the way to either side. And almost every stick shift car you're gonna drive, you're gonna have first all the way to the left and then forward. And then all the gears are subsequent. Then there's second, third, kind of just a straight push forward. The gate will almost always align to third. Fourth is straight back. Fifth is over here. And then for reverse, you're gonna wanna go into into the right and back position. Reverse is different on a lot of cars, so always check your knob, check with the, with the owner, whatever you have to do. And if you're ever worried about going from fifth to reverse, almost every car has a lockout that will prevent you from doing so. Fun story, when I was test driving that GTS, I've been only used to driving five speeds, which are all the way to the right and back. That car's a six speed. So when I went to try and back it out of the driveway, I put it all the way to the right, back into her sixth and uh, didn't release the clutch. The owner caught me in time, but most cars that you will learn on, most used cars you'll learn on will be this way for reverse. But always make sure some, even some five speeds, they'll have reverse next to first. Like so, um, I know the- A lot of German cars. Yeah, do. Max's Jetta, two and a half liter Jettas are like that. I'm sure all BMWs. the men- BMWs. Yeah, BMWs are like that. By the way, if you're lucky enough to learn where your car is a dog leg first gear, you're cool. Yeah, if, if you have a dog leg first geared, like, good, good for you. Yeah, for you're, you. you're doing well at, in life. One thing that I think is, well, we should say before we actually show them how to do it is make sure in an environment that's like quiet, there's not a lot of cars around, or go out later in the night. Like I learned how to drive stick by driving my dad to the house, to McDonald's and back in the summertime, getting him dollar drinks. So there's nobody out at that time. So that's how I learned. But the first step you're gonna wanna do is just with it in neutral, so don't, not in gear, not in the clutch, you just wanna practice bringing the car up to 1500 RPMs and holding it. Which on this car, not the easiest thing to do, it's a very touchy throttle. Yes. On the Celicas, you're probably gonna hold somewhere between 1500 and 2000, and they're very touchy throttles. Like, it is very difficult to hold a constant RPM in this car. The GTS, more so than the GT, the GT behaved a bit more like an economy motor, and this one with the Yamaha head is even a little bit more touchy, but you know, you can do it. You know, Sean and I have had enough practice to where we can do it with reasonable success. It's much easier to do in the Micra, much easier to do in Hondas, but you can learn on anything if you're patient enough. Every step that we say, we're not gonna say this every time, do it 50 times. You want it to become muscle memory. You wanna just be able to just get in 1500. That was 3000. You don't wanna be like me. Rev up, she sounds good. So the first thing that you should do when learning to drive a stick shift car is learn where the engagement of the clutch is. So for that, put the clutch in, first gear, start with the handbrake on, and just watch your revs. And eventually, you'll notice, there, the clutch is biting, the revs are falling. That's the start of the engagement. And you guys probably can't see it on the camera, but as Sean said, the revs are falling, and but the car is also tugging on its handbrake. If you do that again, you can kind of see maybe that the micro's tugging on its handbrake like the car wants to go forward, which it does. Yeah, and some people may think this is bad for the clutch. This is not at all bad for the clutch. The clutch is meant to do this. 
Also, when you're learning, this is much easier on the clutch than burning it yes. or overriding the clutch. This is much easier on the car. And once you have a good, a good idea of where it starts, release the handbrake. Ideally, you're a little flat here. It's a, we're pretty flat, so we're not really rolling much. And you'll notice the car's rolling. I'm not, right, no, not touching the gas at all. The car is rolling. And then you can get a little farther off, a little farther off, a little farther off. And we're completely in gear. We did not touch the gas at all. And then if ever you need to stop, first clutch in, and then just like a regular automatic car, ease on to the brake. Remember that clutch pedal, when it's time to stop, that's your pause button. You push that all the way in and the car will just, at that point you just push the brakes and stop and you're good. It's also worth noting, anytime you're stopped, you either want to be in gear with the cl clutch pedal fully depressed or in neutral, and then you can take your foot off the clutch. When you're learning, if you ever take your foot off the clutch while you're stopped with it in gear, you'll get a nasty surprise. Like that. That's what we call stalling. Now that you've practiced letting the car grab on the clutch and holding 1500 RPMs, you've done that about a hundred times combined, it's time to combine the two. Yes, so first gear or reverse, but probably first, handbrake off, you want to bring the revs up 1500 and then just ease off the clutch and try to hold that 1500 and eventually now we're off the clutch, foot off the clutch and we are rolling. And so again, you want you can stop, put the clutch in all the way, come to a stop. And you're gonna do this, yep, you guessed it, about 50 times. So I've done two, I've got 48 to go. We'll report back after 48. One of the last steps in driving manual is gonna be putting everything we just learned together, but then it's gonna be shifting from first to second gear and onwards up to how many gears you have. So you're gonna wanna start in first, foot on the clutch, and you want to slowly take off the smooth way we told you to. And now first to second is going to be your hardest shift because it's going to be your roughest. So you want to get her, get her up into the revs. Yeah, around halfway through the rev band is usually a good place to shift. Every car is a little different though. And so I'm going to do this one in slow motion. You're going to clutch in. You're going to move it to second gear, which is just straight back. And then you're going to clutch out and engage the gas at the same time. You remember where the, where the grab point is? You don't just want to don't get go and just dump the clutch that's not pl a pleasant experience you want to ride that clutch a little bit third gear kind of a straight push forward using the gate there and so on fourth and fifth. it is it isn't pleasant if you shift too fast because you'll throw your passengers head forward yes you'll often see it in your peripheral vision you'll just see their heads kind of go like that mm -hmm. the next trick we're going to show you is possibly the hardest part of driving stick yes or yes. one of Hill starts, all right, talk so, to us. We're not on a hill now, but, this, but we can show you the principles of it. Use so your imagination. Start, you want to, of course, you're gonna be foot on the brake, so you want to engage first gear, then you're gonna pull your handbrake up, with the button pressed in so that you can just drop it, and then you're gonna let off the brake, the car will not roll, build revs to 1500, let the clutch engage, once you feel it engage, drop, the, drop it, and then just feather on away, eventually you're rolling. So yeah, that's how you do a hill start. And again, practice. Go out late at night, find yourself a hill. Don't do it too much because it's a little hard on the clutch, but you'll, you'll get it no problem. Mm -hmm. Just takes practice. When you use the handbrake, it's honestly about as easy as just taking off from a normal stop. Facts. I think that sums it up. I think we touched all the beginner basics, right? Yeah, the main thing from now on, practice, practice, practice. It's like playing a musical instrument. You know, you can only get better by doing it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this is one of our more educational videos instead of just goofing off. Thank you for watching and uh, punch us out, my dude.